Hi, uh, in this short video, uh, I'm going to show you how an elevator design studio works. Basically, an elevator design studio is an interactive tool that puts uh, the design control at your fingertips. The intuitive step-by-step -step format lets any user choose an elevator interior configurations, apply materials and finishes from a library of uh, surfaces and materials. View uh, the actual building process in realistic renderings and also to be able to request a budget or a pricing estimate by submitting that project to the vendor. The first thing that the user sees when they log in <clears throat> on your website and create an account is different layout or configurations that you provide them with. Now, these are customized. In this example, we have 12 different configurations. You could have 5, 50, doesn't matter. As many configurations that you put together, it will be displayed on this panel on the left. And then on the right, it shows the process as we are going through right now, putting a, creating an elevator interior uh, together. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick... Um, Pick something simple to save time. I'm going to select this one over here. Okay, as you can see, we have the layout on the right side, and then on the left side, we have um, four tabs A, B, C, D. Now, these tabs refer to these sections on the inside of the elevator. Right now, we're focusing on part A, which is the area at the very top and at the bottom. Okay, so we go ahead and select from the material at our disposal and go ahead and apply that and immediately on the right hand side <coughs> they will see how it changes. Okay, section B is the middle part so to give it a different texture, different material, let's use something <coughs> like this a little bit lighter Go ahead and apply that. All right, C is toward the bottom. Get a dark color and maybe some texture. That's for that. And then finally D, which are the sides near the door. And we're going to pick something dark like this and apply. All right, we go to the next page. Now we're going to work on the handrails. The handrails, uh, again, you can have as many different handrail stars and configuration and material. Let's go ahead and pick this one with stained browns and tap refiner, okay? Okay, they can see a bigger picture of it here, but the actual mock-up on the right-hand side gives them an idea of what it looks like, and they can change it, you know, if they want to go and pick a different style. Okay, you get the idea. So let's go to the next page, which we can work on to, on the ceiling and the light fixtures. So for the light fixtures, we're getting a six panel ceiling and they can decide on light, hardwood. If this is for the flooring, they can choose a light color or dark color or let's go even black. Okay, this one looks kind of nice. So the beauty of this program is that in real time they can get an idea what the elevator will look like. And in the final section, they have to answer this question about the size of the elevator, the depth in inches. So let's just go ahead and plug in some numbers to move on to the next section. 
okay and they can specify as far as the door do they want a front door or rear and front or just you know double doors or single doors and for quantity one or whatever number of elevators they need maybe it's a company ordering and they want multiple they specify that and they have more options to choose from I'm not going to go through that you know about basically the elevator type um, cabinet shell materials manufacturers they can choose you know from list of manufacturers and what's the capacity of the elevator maybe 3500 pound and they can write whatever comment they they want it in here to be submitted to the vendor along with this schematic and the, pick, the configuration that they just put together and that's it at this point a user can save a file in PDF and f download it to their computer for you know holding on to for future reference and they can also submit this project to a vendor so let's go ahead and So when they click to submit their project to the vendor, uh, all they have to do is basically, you know, give some personal information like the company, um, the contact information, and job location, where it's going to be at and they also have to specify what type of whether this is a new project or a modernization and whether it's a passenger type elevator or a service type elevator here we have the option of selecting steel or wood manufacturers they can pick anyone that they want and the capacity of the elevator which we they would like to have additional comment and lastly any additional instructions that they have now when they say request the budget pricing this whole information along with the uh, particular uh, elements of the elevator that they have chosen will be emailed sent to the website owner the manufacturer distributor dealer uh, 